Hey guys, Soggy Steph here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. So as you can see, I have just gotten out of the shower, hence the wet hair, hence the dressing gown. Although, let's be real here, I wear my dressing gown like everywhere, so. So yeah, I just got out of the shower, plonked my ass down here because today I'm gonna be doing a kind of like a zero to 100 get ready with me. We're doing hair, we're doing makeup. That's about it. I am ready, so let's do this. So like I said, I've already had my shower. I did my little weekly hair wash. I usually tend to wash my hair like once, maybe twice a week. I am gonna be doing a full hair care routine very, very soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And if you have any questions, then do let me know in the comments down below. But all I basically did in the shower, apart from some really, really bad singing, was I shampooed my hair, I shampooed it again, and used a little bit of purple shampoo as well. And then I finished up with a little bit of the L'Oreal Dream Lengths Conditioner. I just kind of put it like, here downwards. So when it comes to actually styling my hair, I don't like to pack on too many products because like I said, I only wash my hair like once or twice a week. One thing that I have been using a lot recently, literally like ever since I've been sent it, is this guy here. Yes, I have teamed up with L'Oreal for this portion of the video, but I do really, really rate this stuff. It is called the Dream Lengths Frizz Killer Serum and it's just, it's easy, it smells good. I literally just take two pumps of it and like rub it up in my hands. ASMR, no, okay. And then I just like to run it mostly through the lengths of my hair. Obviously you guys know I do have tape and extensions now, but I find this stuff really keeps them looking sleek because if I leave these to air dry, they just like expand and expand. And I mean, give me 20 minutes and my hair would just fill the entire frame. See, so, yeah, I use this stuff and then by the time it comes to like blow drying and straightening my hair, my hair goes super sleek and stays that way. I'm gonna take a teeny tiny little bit more, kind of like half a pump and just focus that on like the top layers of like my natural hair. And this stuff does have heat protection in it. It protects your hair up to 230 degrees, which is, I mean, I don't really go any hotter than that. So it's perfect for me. But yeah, it doesn't look like much right now, but you guys will see when I come back in a minute after blow drying my hair, it will make it super, super sleek. The claim is that it's supposed to leave your hair frizz free for up to 24 hours, but I find it actually does it even longer for me personally. If you live in England, which I know a lot of you do, let's talk about the rain we've been having recently. This stuff is really good at protecting your hair from going all frizzy from the rain. It's also supposed to be really good with humidity. I wouldn't know because it's freezing in the UK right now. But yeah, really, really into this stuff. I know it's an ad, you kind of got to believe me here, but um, I've basically just been using this on its own. Sometimes I add a little bit of oil in the end if I need it. Just kind of does it all really. Oh, and you can use it on dry hair as well. I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, so I'm not going to go off camera, blow dry my hair. I'll come back, do a little bit of straightening with you guys or whatever. And then brace yourselves because I'm going to be attempting a slick back ponytail. Fingers crossed, I don't just look like an egg. So yeah, be right back. Going to grab myself a cup of tea, dry my hair, and I might get a snack as well. All right, that's better. I literally, I haven't even straightened my hair yet. I just blow dried it and it's ended up looking like this. So I'm pretty happy. I don't know what these are doing here. So yeah, to do my hair, I'm literally just gonna brush it through again. And like I said, like, to be honest, it's pretty dead straight right now. So I don't really need to do too much. I just wanna kind of like fiddle around with the front a little bit. And maybe just like smooth out a couple of layers, smooth out some of these little baby hairs up here. And just kind of like get all this bit under here looking nice and straight. But when I mean, you can like, like you, you can see how sleek it's made my hair. Like my hair normally has like loads of little flyaways from the layers and everything, but this is all just kind of like, just laid flat. Get this little guy under here, my little sideburn piece. Okay, that should do for a minute. So now I'm gonna take a t like the teeniest, tiniest little bit of this, like basically half a pea sized amount rub that in my little fingers and basically smooth down any sections around here and just around the front. Okay, so this is nice as it is. It's just like my everyday kind of go-to. Love a nice little sleek, just straight hair, but I'm gonna attempt the slick back pony. I did like a little rough one the other day and you couldn't really see any of my tapes anymore. So I'm gonna try an Ariana Grande in my hair and like basically give myself a facelift by scraping it all back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure all of my hair is completely brushed through and then I'm gonna flip it. Hi, ooh, it's a look. So basically, I'm just gonna start by brushing my hair upwards. So like I said, obviously I do have tape and extensions. Don't know if I've mentioned that only like four times in this video, but I'm just gonna go lightly over those because I obviously don't wanna like catch them or anything. But I'm just gonna scrape back what I can. Obviously I do have a few shorter layers as well. Ooh, there's a little friend there. Um, but yeah, I will be like slicking those back in a minute. And then I'm basically just gonna grab all of that on the top of my head. Like it's pretty simple to be honest. Like if I can do it, I'm sure everyone can do it. Yeah, I'm just pulling all of this up here and just getting rid of like the majority of lumps. And if you can see any tapes, I am just kind of like hiding them a little bit. Oh God, it's like 
instant Botox. Like, I literally cannot move my face. I'm just gonna grab a little hair tie and just kind of get that sitting on top of me head. Okay, so this is how we're looking at the moment. Not overly sleek just yet, but give me time. So now I'm gonna take a little clip and extension. You don't obviously have to do this, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna clip that underneath my ponytail. Wait for that click, there it is. And I'm gonna wrap that around this part here. I sound so confident for someone that has no idea what they're doing. And then you take a couple of clips and just secure that in place. Okay, so that's what we're looking like at the moment. Oh my God, I've actually got a ponytail. So now I need to sort out this fluffy stuff here. So I'm just gonna add in a couple of little hair grips just to kind of push that down a bit more. So then what I'm gonna do is just take one of these back brushing brushes and I'm just gonna kind of like smooth everything down over the top and just kind of like getting ideas to where it's all gonna sit. Got a little tape there. So I'm just gonna try and like position my hair over that bit. So then I'm gonna hold my hair down, get a little bit of hairspray. and just let that sit for a sec and just smooth it all down. And then just do the same for like underneath as well. Just taking off my dressing gown sleeves because they were getting in the way a little bit, but I'm just gonna smooth down just a little bit more. I just added in a couple of clips as well. Never underestimate how hard it is to actually do hair on camera. So I've got the makeup side of things down, but hair, I don't even wanna know. Okay, that's looking kind of sleek. I'll, I'll touch it up a little bit at the end, but Right now, before I've done my makeup and everything, I feel like that's looking pretty good. Okay, so that's it for the hair for now. I will be linking this guy down below, so if you did want to check it out, I highly recommend it, and the link will be down below. So now, let's move on to my face. Okay, I think I want to go smoky. I've got a real, like, hankering to do a big, fat, blown out, like, black smoky eye. So let's do it. All right, I'm just gonna slip on this little guy here. Might help to keep a couple of little, little flyaways in place. Honestly, I promise I'm not naked. I've just like wrapped myself up in my dressing gown because it was just getting in the way. All right, so before we get into it, I'm gonna add my contacts. I know some of you hate it. I know some of you love it. I love it. So I'm just gonna chuck them in. So the ones that I wear are the Solotica Hydroca Ice. So I'm just gonna pop that in my head. I used to cringe so hard at this and now it's just become like second nature to me. Just wait for the eyes to stop watering for a second. Huh. I love to look like an alien. Literally in every single video that I do, I always link my contacts like right at the bottom, I think it is. So if you guys do want a link, then it's literally right at the bottom of my description box. <sighs> okay, we're in business. All right, it just takes me a second to adjust because literally as soon as I put them in, I look a little bit like high. Yeah, cool. Right, we're getting somewhere. Okay, so for my eye primer, I'm gonna be using the Morphe concealer. I'm gonna do one at a time here. So this might be a little bit too dark for me now, but I'm gonna be covering it up anyway. So yeah, I'm just gonna paint that all over my eyeballs. And then I need to go and wet this. So be right back. Okay, I'm just gonna pounce that all over my lid. I'm seriously not even worried about it being this color because I am about to cover it in like just loads of black eyeshadow. That'll do. So for my eyes today, I'm gonna to be using the Stacey Marie Carnival XL Pro Palette. And I'm basically just gonna be focusing on these colors here, to be honest. So I'm gonna grab myself a fluffy brush. I'm gonna go straight in with Lights Out, which is the black. And I'm literally just gonna whack that right in my crease and start by kind of like tapping it, but then just slowly do little windshield wiper motions just so it's got the kind of shape. And then go back over it. It's gonna be like a super kind of like grungy looking smoky eye. So I'm not trying to be overly precise. I'm just getting it in there. Get in there, my son. And then also just kind of winging that out a tiny bit. I will obviously like clean it up again in a second, like just here, so I'm not worried about that bit either. I just ain't worried. Just not worried, you know? So I'm really just like taking that all in my crease there, tiny little bit more, just to build that up right in the crease. I'm then gonna go in with Vex, which is this gray shade up here, same brush. And I'm gonna lightly feather that just above my crease. And then as I kind of get further out to my brow bone, I'm just gonna go even lighter. Just slightly take the brush off a little bit by bit. Turn it on its side and just lightly feather the corner of that. Again, just pulling that out a bit and just literally lightly feather all of that black and that gray, just kind of outward. I'm then gonna take, I kind of wanna take a little mixture of intuition and a little bit more of Vex. So this one here and this one here. So I'm gonna do a tap of Vex, tap of intuition, another tap of Vex. And I'm gonna pop that all over my lid. Like I don't quite want it to be like fully black all over my lid, but 
I also kind of want it to be black all over my lid. So yeah, I'm just going to do, actually, I'm going to do a little, I'm just going to go in with all three. I can't, this palette is so big, I can't even hold it properly. So I'm going to go in, this one, this one, this one, boom, tap it off, tap it on my eye. It's like, I want a touch of the warmth from intuition. I don't want it to be completely black, but I do still want it cool tone, so I'm using Vex. I'm going to take a little bit of fade as well, which is like a slightly lighter brownie shade, and I'm going to pack that ever so slightly on the inner corner, and then back in with a little bit of mixture of those three again. And then I'm actually going to take a little bit of lights out and pack that right on the outer corner, just to kind of like deepen that even more. Just like so. I look crazy. And then I'm just going to take a wipe and wrap that around my finger and just clean all this up here. Mmm, I like where this is going. I mean, like right now I just look a bit mental, but I like where this is going. And I'm going to take this little liner brush here and I'm going to take the shade Fair Play, which is like the highlighter shade. And I'm just going to very lightly kind of tickle that on my brow bone and then blend that in just a touch with the fluffy brush that I was using. Yeah. All right, just going to do the other eye quickly just to save a little bit of time and then we'll do everything else. Okay, I look crazy. Let's do like my base makeup because I feel like that'll like tie everything together. So first of all, I'm gonna go in with primer. Now I haven't used this primer in some time. This is the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Makeup Primer. Uh, it's the Pro Multi Action one. I used to really, really love this stuff. It's basically a moisturizer. That's pretty much how it feels. But yeah, I'm just gonna pop that all over my skin. Oh my gosh, guess I still had some eyeshadow under my eye there. Wipe it away. Oh yes, put some hydration in this crusty ass face of mine. So now I'm gonna use a foundation that I used to love, but I just haven't used in a really long time. It is the NYX Total Control one. I am normally this shade here, but that's normally when I've got a bit of a tan. So I think I'm gonna mix these two here. I've got true beige and then a little bit of medium olive. Let's see what you're like. That's medium olive. That could be all right on its own to be fair. I'm gonna try that and I might add a little bit more in a minute. So yeah, I'm just gonna douse my face in that. Oh, it's just so satisfying just watching it all go down my face. I don't know why. And yeah, I'm just gonna pop all that on my skin. Mmm, a little bit yellowy. Oh, I don't know, that's actually not bad. I don't know what that noise was I just made, but yeah, it's actually not too bad. People keep asking me what um, fake tan I'm wearing at the moment, and I'm honestly not wearing any. I've still just got a little bit of a tan from when I went to Greece. I don't know where it is with me, but like, when I tan, it just sticks. I've still got tan lines on my boobies, if you want to know that. And if you didn't want to know that, well, you just got a free little piece of information there. Yeah, I used to love this foundation. Basically, I went into my makeup room and I knew I was going to film this video and I just picked out a bunch of stuff that I love that I haven't used in a while. I am going to be doing a full video of my faves, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I just kind of fancied just switching it up a little bit today. It's actually not a bad colour, to be honest. By the time I add a little bit of bronzer, it should be all right. So now, obviously, we've we've come to terms with the fact that this is too dark for me, um, but I do love the coverage, and it's the only colour I have, so I'm going to go a little bit under my eyes with that, and by a little bit, I evidently mean quite a bit. Um, I'm going to use that for coverage, and just blend that in, like so. And then I'm going to go with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I have mine in the shade 20, so I'm just going to use that to kind of like lighten everything up. I really like the coverage of this, but the Morphe one just is a lot more intense. So I'm just gonna cover up a few little guys lingering around there. Corners of the snores, chinny chin chin, down the nose. I've got like, I look like I've been punched at this point, so I may as well go in with the makeup, let's face it. Like when I've already gone ahead and plonked black all over my lids, like you know it's not gonna be a natural makeup look. Is it ever a natural makeup look here on my channel? Okay. So enough powder, I'm gonna use the Fenty one, which you guys may have seen me use in a recent video. So this is like the banana colored one. And I'm gonna start by setting my under eyes with that. And just do the usual, like, a little bit more around my mouth and nose and chin. Center of my forehead. And then just take a slightly larger brush and I'm just gonna set the rest of my face there. I'm not using too much powder, because I don't like to. Let me know, do you guys use quite a lot of powder? Like, do you bake? Like, what, what's, your, what's your take on powder? Because for me, I really am, like, less is more. I think I've only ever gone through, like, four powders maybe in my lifetime just because I use so little so yeah I'm just gonna pop that all around there fabulous then for contour and bronzer I'm gonna be using the Balm Bahama Mama to contour and I'm gonna be using the natural collection bronzer this one here is in the shade golden glow this is so cheap and it's actually really really good sometimes you have to do work your brush in there to make sure you do get enough color payoff but it is really good once you do get it going 
So I'm gonna take a little bit of Bahama Mama. This stuff is quite dark, so I am gonna take a really teeny tiny amount. And just use that right on the back of my cheeks there. A little bit on the nose. Just gonna do some like lazy nose contouring. Literally just running that down the sides of my nose with the brush. I find that when I do lazy contouring, it actually looks a lot more snatched than when I actually try. So now it's just, I just don't try. That's just my motto now. Okay, I'm now gonna take the Natural Collection bronzer. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on a big fluffy brush. And just warm my cheeks up with it. That'll do me. So now for highlighter, I know I use it all the bloody time, but I just can't be without it. Over Rodeo Drive. It's the best. This is like the old packaging. The packaging now is a lot more swanky, but like I'm still using my OG. You know I love a highlighter when it's that used, because I, I have a lot. You guys know I have a lot. So if, if I've used one up that much, you know it's a good one. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a ton of that and pop that on the tops of my cheeks. It's literally just the, the most stunning thing. Ugh. Like I honestly wonder if anything will ever beat this. It's just the best. Like, just look at that little, oh, I just, there are no words for this fucking stuff. A little bit on the Cupid's bow. I'm gonna grab a little bit on my finger and just pop that on the end of my nose. You all know the drill at this point. I'm actually gonna go back in with that little liner brush that I was using earlier as well. And pick some of that up. <sighs> this guy is so nearly dead. Literally, it's like, there's hit pan and then there's this. So I'm gonna load up my inner corner with that guy. Like, I just, it excites me every single time I use it. So I'm gonna bring that down onto my Lower lash line a bit. Screw it, I'm going on the brow bone as well. Stacey Marie palette was good, but this is, this is better. Can someone please remind me to do my brows? Cause I feel like I might actually forget about them in this video. Ooh, I love how this looks so far. So now let's quickly do my brows before I forget. So I'm gonna be using the Benefit um, 24 hour brow setter just to kind of keep them in place. I might do a slightly more like not uh, kind of like feathery brow, but not quite. I just want to give them a little bit of texture up here. Yeah, kind of like that. So I'm just brushing these up. And this stuff literally sticks your brows like wherever you put them. You could stick them to the freaking fridge with this stuff and they would not go anywhere. And then before that dries, because when it does dry, it can become a little bit tricky to add like a tinted brow gel or anything to it. I'm just going to go ahead and add this one here from Revolution, making sure I just brush it up in the same direction as well. I feel like they should come out with a tinted 24 hour brow setter. I think, feel like that would be bomb. Cause I'm always using the brow setter and then something else to kind of tint my brows a bit. Then to fill in a few gaps, I'm just gonna be using the L'Oreal pomade. So I'm just gonna take the brush. The shade that I'm using by the way is Ebony. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was dark brown or something. So mine is getting a little bit dry, but we can fix it. One's getting a little teeny tiny bit dry. So I'm just adding a little bit of eye drops in it. It's a little trick, if your pomade dries out a bit, add some eye drops, you'll be fine. And then I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'm literally just gonna run this through my brows just a tiny bit to kind of bulk them up a bit. And then just blend them upwards, just so it doesn't look too harsh. Okay, happy with that. So I'm now gonna go back in with the Stacey Marie palette and I think I'm just gonna take a little mixture of Vex and Fade. Maybe a bit of lights out, I'll see how I'm feeling, but I think I'm just gonna take these two shades here and run them on my lower lash line. So a little bit of fade, a little bit of X, a little bit of fade, a little bit of X. Yeah, just run that quite tightly on my lower lash line there. Yeah, quite like that. I don't even feel like I need to add the black. So again, back in, fade, vex, fade, vex, tap, tap, tap. Then again, run it on my lower lash line. Kind of it with that, really. I might just like lightly smoke out a few little bits here. Just play around with it a bit. But yeah, I thought that's, that's kind of it for the eyes. Well, now I need mascara and lashes. So let's do that. So for mascara, an old fave. I don't know how I haven't used this in a video recently, the NARS Climax Mascara. I love this stuff. Probably time I got a new one, but it'll be fine for now. So I'm gonna pop that on my top and bottom lashes. By the way, guys, some of you have seen that I've actually joined TikTok. It's a, it's a weird world and I'm actually kind of enjoying it. So yeah, if you have TikTok and if you want to follow me over there, I'm just at It's Stuff Toms. I post a, a lot of weird stuff. So feel free to head on over. Let's hang out, let's be weird. Oh, how did I forget about you? I'm so sorry. So before I add lashes, I'm just gonna add a little bit of setting spray. So obviously, like poke myself in the face with then. I'm gonna be using the iconic London Prep Set and Glow. This one is in the shade Original. So 
next. I'm just going to give that a spray all over my face, all over my body. And I'm trying to figure out what kind of lip I want to do. Should I just do a glossy lip? Like, I never do glosses. So, should I just do like a... a it's going to be nude. Let's face it, it's going to be nude. I've got this on my eyes, I'm going to do a nude lip. But should I do a gloss? I'm going to go get a gloss. Be right back. Okay, so I've come back with a little selection. I think I might take... What colour is this? Strip Down from MAC. Haven't used this in a hot minute. So I'm just going to line my lips with that. Is that a little bit too warm? I kind of feel like cooling that down a little bit. So I'm actually going to go in with this Essence Liner. This is called Draw The Line Instant Colour Lip Liner and it is in the shade So Ungrateful. Get it? I get it. And I'm going to go over that actually. I'm going to line my lips with this first and then I'm going to add like a nude lip over the top and then I'm going to add a gloss. I then think I'm going to go in with this guy here. This is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon and it is in the shade. I'm trying to find it. Uh, trust your gut, number 10. So I'm going to put that in the middle and just kind of like blend all that in together. Okay, so my nude lip has turned into like a, a vampy lip, but I'm kind of here for it. I'm then obviously going to do my thing and take a little bit of concealer and put it right in the middle. Um, just pat that in. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of gloss. I'm just going to be using the Soap and Glory Sep Sep Sepsy, Sexy Motherfucker one in the shade Donut. Literally the smell of this stuff just brings back memories from when I used to wear this with Dream App Mousse and then put this over the top. So I'm going to pop a tiny bit of that in the center. That's kind of it. I'm just going to clean myself up a little bit because I didn't make a little mess with my lips there. Add on some lashes. I'm going to be using the Jilly ones from Doll Beauty, these guys here. And I think that's kind of it. So yeah, I'm just gonna go do that, sort myself out a little bit, and then I'll show you the finished look. All right guys, so this is the finished look, and I'm obsessed. I have nowhere to wear this makeup and this hair, but I'm still enjoying it. I think it warrants a little selfie, I don't know about you. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun filming it and doing something a little bit different. She says while she's covered in highlighter with a new lip. Just to make sure I'm a good influencer, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the Frizz Killer Serum. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure I'm nice and slick, being all professional in that, as I'm sitting in my dressing gown. So if you guys do want to check out the L'Oreal Dream Length Serum, I will of course leave a link to it down below alongside everything that I put on my face. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. Also, let me know what you think of this hair. I was a little bit like, oh, that's not me, but now I'm thinking, is this a new thing I'm gonna do? Because I'm kind of into it. So yeah, let me know what you think. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.